This is when the sun doesn't rise above the horizon for weeks on end, leaving the country in a state of perpetual darkness. Wow. Wow. Five, hard to find a job. Olá pessoal, sejam bem-vindos a mais um vídeo desse canal. Nós somos cidadãos do terceiro mundo e nesse canal nós reagimos e aprendemos a coisa sobre o primeiro mundo. Nesse vídeo nós vamos estar reagindo ao lado obscuro de viver na Noruega. Portanto, aproveite a oportunidade, se inscreva no nosso canal, clique no gostei, compartilhe esse vídeo e deixe mais sugestões nos comentários. E agora, vamos para a reação. Dark Sides of Living in Norway Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to discuss 10 dark sides of living in Norway. Como we will um walk you through the dark sides of living in this um amazing country and help you decide if it's the right place for you. Boa From pergunta. high costs of living and inconsistent weather to social conventions of limited interaction with strangers, let's dive into some dark sides that often get lost when considering life in Norway. Stay tuned to find out more. 1. You will never be Norwegian. If you've ever been brave enough to visit Norway as a non-Norwegian, chances are that you've encountered the infamous Viking Stare. You know the one, it's like the Norwegians have judged your worthiness simply from looking at you. The food here is also something that us non-Norse folks struggle with. If your idea of comfort food is anything other than boiled cod or reindeer stew, also known as lutefisk, then I hate to say it, but Norway may not be for you. Not only is this cuisine notably unappetizing to some, there's really no way around it either. But everyone also seems to eat traditional Norwegian dishes every single day. So don't expect any variety on the dinner table anytime soon. Wow! Realmente é um fator cultural muito interessante porque eles têm o hábito de comer rena lá. E aqui no nosso país a gente não tem esse hábito. É verdade, seria bem diferente. Mas eu tenho curiosidade de provar os pratos típicos noruegueses, porque eles parecem que se alimentam de uma forma muito saudável. Mas eu acho interessante que aqui falou que ah, você nunca será considerado norueguês, mas eu acho que isso é um problema típico de quem acaba emigrando para outros países. né? A pessoa, mesmo que esteja muito é, viva muitos anos em um determinado lugar, de fato, ela nunca consegue se sentir lá. Então, eu acho que não é um problema típico da Noruega. On top of all these small annoyances, however, there is perhaps nothing more trying than learning how to speak Norwegian, an incredibly hard language even for those steeped in its culture. It is certainly one of the negative sides of moving to Norway. 2. Darkness There are some dark sides of living in Norway that you might not be aware of. Take darkness, for instance. With its northerly location, Norway experiences genuine polar night from late difícil. November to mid-January in some parts. That's a whopping eight weeks without seeing any daylight at all. And if you thought those midnight suns were magical during the summer months, this kind of darkness could certainly feel like an interminable gloom settling over you. Just imagine 90 days with no natural light. Try not to think wow. about it too much or take on a gothic aesthetic. It is best just brace yourself for it and accept your fate until February arrives. 3. High taxes Let me be blunt, high taxes are one of the dark sides of living in Norway. And it isn't just for people with a lot of money or income. Everyone has to pay up. The average tax rate can range anywhere from 20 to 50% depending on the region you live in. Oh yeah, did I mention that those rates don't even include value added tax? It doesn't stop there. If you're an entrepreneur or own property in Norway, then your taxes will be even higher. On top of all this, some goods like cigarettes and alcohol cost significantly more here than other countries as they have additional sin taxes imposed on them by the government. É, em relação à questão dos impostos, a gente já fez uma reação aqui falando sobre esse aspecto e a nossa opinião né, a gente já deixou lá e a gente considera um fator positivo em relação aos impostos, porque a gente vê que há um retorno para a população de investimento do governo através do uso desses impostos. É verdade, eu acredito que se você paga muito imposto, mas tem retorno, não tem coisa melhor, né? É, aqui no Brasil a gente paga muito, muito imposto mesmo, então eu acredito que se um brasileiro sai daqui e vai morar na Noruega, Acho que nem vai se surpreender com esse aspecto do imposto alto, porque a gente já está muito acostumado com isso aqui. 
A gente só não está acostumado com o estilo de vida norueguês, né? Que tem esse retorno incrível, essa qualidade incrível. Four, it's cold most of the year. Norway is a beautiful country with plenty of natural wonders to explore. But let's be real, the majority of the year is spent bundled up in layers upon layers of clothing, trying to stay warm against the unforgiving Nordic winds. It is certainly one of the most annoying negative sides of moving to Norway. But why is it so darn cold in Norway, you may ask? Well, it all has to do with the country's location in the far north of Europe. Norway is situated at a high latitude, Nossa, which means it gets less direct sunlight throughout gente. the year. This, combined with the country's long coastline and the fact that it is surrounded by cold oceans, means the temperatures stay low for most of the year. And let's not forget about the dreaded polar night, which occurs in parts of Norway during the winter months. This is when the sun doesn't rise above the horizon for weeks on end, leaving the country in a state of perpetual darkness. Wow. Five, hard to find a job. It's a struggle no matter where you are, but it can feel especially daunting in a country like Norway. Don't get us wrong, Norway is a great place to live with a high standard of living and plenty of opportunities. But let's be real, finding a job in Norway can be a bit of a challenge. One of the main reasons for this is the country's small population. With only about 5 million people living in Norway, the job market can be quite competitive. This is especially true in the larger cities like Oslo, where the demand for skilled workers is high. But it's not just the competition that makes finding a job in Norway tough. There's also the language barrier to consider. Although many Norwegians speak English, it's still a good idea to have at least a basic understanding of Norwegian if you're hoping to land a job. If you are not skilled, then this is one of the negative sides of moving to Norway that you should seriously consider. É, esse realmente é um lado um pouco complicado, esse ponto, porque imagina como uma pessoa sai assim, de um país de terceiro mundo e vai para um país assim, muito rico de primeiro mundo, como a Noruega, ela vive a vida toda dela como um cidadão do terceiro mundo. Então, ela não teve acesso às mesmas coisas que uma pessoa de primeiro mundo vai ter. Então, ela vai chegar lá totalmente de desvantagem, né? A não ser que ela realmente tenha se preparado muito, mas não é igual aos norueguês que naturalmente, né? Ali é tudo muito natural, eles têm acesso a coisas incríveis é, de uma forma que o, o governo está ali provendo isso para eles. E aqui as coisas acontecem diferentes, então realmente são um, um ponto um pouco complicado. 6. No Amazon. Now, before you start throwing your laptop out the window in frustration, let's take a moment to examine the reasons why. One of the main reasons Amazon isn't available in Norway is due to the country's strict regulations on foreign companies. These regulations are put in place to protect local businesses and ensure that they are able to compete with international wow. companies. Wow. Amazon's absence is definitely one of the dark sides of living é in Norway. No more two-day shipping for those last-minute gifts, no more endless scrolling through pages of products, and no more Amazon Prime discounts. It's a Esse aspecto da Amazon, inclusive, há um forte debate no, no próprio Estados Unidos em relação à Amazon. E a Noruega, ela faz isso justamente para proteger é, e priorizar as pessoas que ali vivem e, e, e trabalham com vendas de produtos e coisas do tipo. Então, nesse aspecto, a gente consegue ver realmente, de fato, a preocupação do governo em priorizar as pessoas que ali moram, mas que trabalham né, é, com isso, com esse tipo de, de, de venda. Né? E é muito interessante a gente perceber que no, no próprio país de origem da Amazon há essa, esse debate. Né? Enquanto isso, a Noruega ela já se antecipou a esse debate, já está à frente do debate. Isso é muito interessante. Sim. Tough pill to swallow, we know. But fear not, there are still plenty of other options for online shopping in Norway. Local retailers like Eljob and Complet offer a wide range of products and often have competitive prices. 7. Eating out is expensive. One of the main reasons eating out is expensive in Norway is due to the high cost of living in the country. Norway has a strong economy and a high standard of living, which means that the cost of goods and services is generally higher than in other countries. But it's not just the cost of living that makes eating out pricey in Norway. The country also has high taxes on food and alcohol, which can add a significant amount to the final bill. And let's not forget about those pesky service fees, which are often included in the price of a meal. 8. High rent. For many people living in Norway these days, rent takes up a large portion of their budget each month. 
This makes it difficult to find affordable housing, especially in cities, without breaking the bank. It also means that living costs are higher here than in most other countries around the world, which can make life really hard for those on lower incomes or retirees who rely on fixed pensions. In addition to causing financial stress amongst residents, it also means that fewer people can actually afford to live here as house prices have been steadily increasing over time. Not only does this put pressure on existing housing stock, but it could potentially discourage foreign investment. So while many love living here because of its breathtaking views and incredible nature-filled surroundings, they may soon be unable to do so if things don't change soon. 9. Postal service is very slow. One of the most inconvenient ones is undoubtedly the snail-like pace of Norwegian postal services. In fact, it's so slow that many Norwegians joke about sending letters to the past rather than to faraway relatives. <laughs> you probably wouldn't believe how much time you can lose waiting for your mail to be delivered. And then there's always the risk that it will take longer than expected or worse, get lost. Postal delays are such an integral part of Norwegian life that some people now use Norwegian post time as a way to explain why they weren't able to meet their deadline. 10. Clearing the UDI immigration hurdles There is one dark side to living in Norway that not many people talk about, clearing the UDI immigration hurdles. Yes, if you're looking to move to this beautiful Scandinavian country, then be prepared for some rigorous visa applications and paperwork. It can be an incredibly tedious process at times, from gathering various documents from home countries or getting medical screenings done before being approved by the Norwegian Directorate of Immigration, UDI not to mention all the back-and-forth emails with their legal team if something goes wrong. Often, even after following every guideline correctly, you may still find yourself stuck waiting for months on end just trying to figure out what went wrong or why your visa was denied in the first place. It's enough to make anyone pull their hair out. In conclusion, living in Norway can be a great experience as it is known for its beautiful scenery and vibrant culture. However, there are some dark sides of living in Norway, such as high taxes, challenging climate and expensive living costs. Despite these issues though, Norway remains an attractive destination for many due to its high quality of life and fantastic countrywide services. If you prepare for all the negative sides of moving to Norway, then you should have no problem making the most out of your time spent here. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and turn on the notification bell. Uau! Olha, aqui tem muitos pontos, mas eu confesso que nada tira o encanto da Noruega, porque é um país maravilhoso. É, você tem todos esses pontos, mas eu acho que os lados positivos superam os aspectos negativos, porque realmente é um lugar que você tem muita qualidade de vida, e é isso que a gente tem visto pelos vídeos, além de uma beleza que pode tirar o fôlego. Então, é incrível, é um lugar incrível para se viver. Não, sem dúvidas, eu concordo com, com, com tudo que você falou, é, mas é muito interessante a gente perceber que esses aspectos que podem ser uma dificuldade para as pessoas morarem lá, nada mais são do que aspectos culturais, né, que advêm da cultura, o que é normal em qualquer lugar do mundo. Né? Mas a, a Noruega é um país maravilhoso, eu... eu, eu só tenho elogios a fazer com a forma como eles lidam com as coisas lá, principalmente porque eles priorizam muito o país, a população, é, as pessoas que querem fazer negócios lá, né? o, o, o morador que quer se tornar um empreendedor, abrir alguma empresa, ele sempre vai ser a prioridade antes de qualquer outro setor estrangeiro. Então, isso é incrível, né? E a gente percebe que há um retorno em relação a isso, a população, isso é uma coisa que a gente sempre elogia. Questões de idioma, de comida, fatores de, de tempo, de fazer muito frio, realmente são coisas que tem que se levar em consideração, sim. Né? Mas eu já digo logo que eu não como rena, mas a gente adora um bacalhau. É, é verdade, e é um país incrível, com um estilo de vida incrível, eu considero a Noruega um país exemplar, porque o que eles conseguiram ali realmente é uma coisa perfeita e a forma como eles olham e levam a vida também é uma coisa muito interessante. Então, é um país que tem muito, muitos aspectos positivos. Isso eu não tenho dúvidas. Mas essa foi a reação desse vídeo. Portanto, considerem se inscrever em nosso canal, clique no gostei, 
ative a notificação e faça mais sugestões nos comentários. Muito obrigada por assistir esse vídeo e nos vemos na próxima reação. Tchau! Tchau.